I did have something I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, did you hear about uh, OVH Cloud and their fire in their data center? No. OVH? OVH Cloud. What, Should I know that? who that is? What that is? They are a uh, data center, a uh, global cloud service provider. Uh, OVH Cloud had a fire in one fire. of their... Fire. In oh uh, one of their data centers, uh, I think it hit uh, a few of them that were close by. I could be wrong about that. It went in Strasbourg, 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 uh, France. Guess who was hosting some of their data there? Who me? Not you. I don't know. I was on the uh, Wikipedia article and they said WikiLeaks was hosting stuff. Who's there uh, who's storing data there? Me or you? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, who is whose story it? is this on the <laughs> podcast? <Here> you, <laughs> little LPC for you guys. Uh, wait, who is it? Uh, yeah. Rust. Oh, really? Oh, really? And uh, so um, basically, Rust was able to with within four hours of them no know, knowing about the fire. It had been eleven hours total. Four hours of them knowing that it happened, be able to spin up uh, servers over you know hundred kil- kilometers away, a uh, thousand kilometers away. But that was because of offsite backups and like, you know, data replication. They were not storing user progression. So oh, anyone whose funny. shit was stored is that basically sucks. fucking gone. What, do you know what they were storing there? Like assets or what? No, like so like Ru- Rust, uh, as far as I understand it, the way you play Rust is it's very similar to WoW where you have PvP servers where so you join a server and that's the server you live on essentially. I think wow, you can still transfer between servers. Rust probably has a way to do that too. I don't think maybe you can now, but I thought you couldn't in wow. Anyways, I don't never played wow. So Rust is also like it's a survival game yeah. and similar to Valheim, except PvP is a bigger thing on there. And I think if you die, you might be able to go get your stuff. But if someone kills you, they're probably jacking your shit. So I don't know what progression you have in Rust other than. Yeah. Yeah, so they were saying that um, as far as the servers, face, face Punch had both local and offsite onsite backups as well as offsite backups, but player progression data was not backed up offsite. So what did they back up? Just probably the server itself. So the I mean, maps are there, yeah. but your stuff is gone. Yeah. Oh, so whoa, 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 whoa. So the so they l- did lose player progression. Oh, I thought you said they they saved that. No, yeah. no. So, so like everybody probably just got everyone fucked. who was on those servers in that specific data center basically does not have their shit anymore. Yeah, that sucks. So you know, I that I never sucks. really thought about it. Like you know, I work in IT. I obviously know how important offsite backups are. I just always assumed that every fucking video game that has an online system is doing it correctly. And I'm not saying that. You know these guys fucked up. I it it sounds like they were they had everything in in place to for disaster recovery, except for player. probably the most important part is <laughs> player well, progression dude, data. Mean, how often does it actually happen though that well, a well right, fucking a fire in a data fire center breaks out? I mean, you know, it's all electricity in there. It's all fucking hot servers. It's it it's not unlikely, but you know, to have a fire and have a something to extinguish that fire should be number one priority in a data center. And I, I don't know anything about OVH and how they run their data centers, but, you know, that's just pretty, like, I think about, like, Destiny, dude. Like, I can't imagine that happening with Destiny. It totally could, though. Like, yeah, absolutely. yeah I think that part of it, too, is I know Rust is a shit, like, I'm not saying they haven't made a ton of money, but it is still, like, a small... Yeah, team. It's not like it's Bungie who. Well, face punch, but, right? Like who? You know. Yeah, I don't no know. One's really like, no one's like face punch. It's best fucking games. But that's yeah, I mean that blows. Are oh, they the guys who did Gary's mod? I think though. Oh, that's. I think you told me that for OVH. I'll say. Okay, that was kind of an epic fail. A little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just feel like when you play a game, even with an account, that's all your shit saved on there. I mean, I do think about. What happens if you get a hacked? Most people don't have like two factor on a lot of their stuff like yeah. they should. But you know, my Steam account, um, I get annoyed where a lot of times when you log in again, it'll it hasn't happened to me in a while, but it would be like, hey, we don't recognize this computer, and I'm like, I literally use this computer <laughs> exclusively, yeah. but because I didn't use the browser in forever, it doesn't know. That but, happens with my bank account. But I'm thankful that they are doing that right. 
Um, cause if someone hacked my steam account and I couldn't get it back, which I have heard in the past that Steam's not the greatest about helping people recover. I mean, I'd lose tons of, you know, dollars worth of games that maybe, yeah, I haven't played all of them, but one day I plan to, and I don't want to lose that, you know, that kind of bro, shit you need sucks. to turn on that two factor, bro. Well, you I mean, it has it on. I'm just oh. saying that like, I think about that all the time. You, bro, you, you fucked up. Instead of the email, you can use the Steam mobile app to get a code, which is a lot more convenient. But I have... I mean, I have the app too, but I don't know. It sucks. I feel like, bad for them, man. Yeah. Because I, is it really Rust's fault? Or no, I it? mean, dude, that's a freak I, accident. I, I like, don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there's anyone to blame necessarily, but like, yeah, to have a fucking data center catch on fire is a pretty big deal. I'm sure they're not the only client, you know, who was storing their data there. That's a good point. Who probably had a fucking fiasco that day, but Rust was the one that made the news because player progression is fucking gone for anyone who's living on those servers. That blows, dude.